Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to uh, Scale is Needed. Hey. We're here. If you were just on uh, my Instagram, you could see that we did literally no preparation no. and are okay. not at all ready for this, but nope. that does not stop us from sacrificing our mm-hmm. afternoon no. to mm-hmm. sit here and... and Talk around fitness. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, it's here, we're around. Right, yes. around. It. Right. It's uh, it's been it's been a very mm, mm. real week in fitness, folks. Scale is needed as the east, and fitness is the sun, and we are going to be in orbit around it. I don't. It's under, a little don't bit of Shakespeare. That's, that's, that's a little bit no. of uh, astronomy. Yeah. Guys, Mixed guys, let's be honest. It's I'm just our excuse, go. our excuse to not be productive for an hour and a half, and your <coughs> excuse to take time off of your work, which you should be doing. Exactly. To instead watch right. us here. You at home. See, I like it because it's a warm up <laughs> for my podcast. That's right. right. It's a vo- Really, this is we're just here as a vocal it's warm up. We're here the for the podcast. Dan- we're here for Daniel's throat. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's here for. Uh, Why are so you wearing a wedding ring? I'm practicing. You're practicing yeah, wearing yeah. a wedding ring. Uh, I'm practicing. Oh, is that I'm one of those things? What, oh, yeah, this one's like a silicone one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's silicone. I thought it was it's like silicone. a copper thing. That's, it looks it's just, hey, it it's looks just copper. colored to be copper. Uh-huh. Okay, it's that's, part that's, of it's part of the elements collection. That's is actually this, a good idea. I like why that. is this? What is so? What is? How did you? What uh, is this about? So so I'm well. I'm practicing for when I actually have to wear a wedding ring. But god damn it, that pain in the ass. Yeah. Apparently, it's like ribbed on the inside. Yes. What for her pleasure? For, yeah, for air, like uh-huh. for so like for air maximum can get aerodynamics. Yeah. You really and want to cut through the air. If you guys can see, I don't know which here. We go. There we go. There we go. So yeah. it's uh, it's like squishy and uh, it get, doesn't get caught on mm-hmm. things other than the inside of my pocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you turn it inside out, it yes, will form a But again, what is the function? <laughs> what is the function? Why am I this? wearing Why it? Why are you wearing it? What oh, is the point? because we, we've already had our wedding rings for a really long time, Katie. Oh. And, I, and so I don't ever get to really wear it. She wears them all the time. Yeah, because you're supposed to wait till after you're married right. to wear it. That's but sort of how it works. works. But why wait for such a small legal <laughs> distinction because when you can just... It's the entire the differentiation between marriage and not marriage no, no, no. is the getting married part of it. I don't think you understand, it. Kyle. Yes. The only literal difference between married and not married is wearing the ring. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's well, it. I mean, how are you going to enjoy your wedding night? I mean, the only thing to do on your wedding night is just shove rings onto each other's fingers <laughs> over and over again. But now you guys have unfortunately popped that cherry, That's so right. there's nothing there. There are literally I hope you're not no wearing white armor cherries. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, man. Uh, just on that you. note, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, actually, no. I have a question though. What? What? What, uh, what scale is needed? Review milestone. Are we going to do at your wedding? Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't but, know. Like, it's how good much point. pre-workout are you going to take before you get up on the altar? The chicken dance on nose torque. <laughs> 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 Just a nose torque. Hey, that's what you can do. You've already have your rings on. It'll be a nose torque wedding. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that uh, that would probably be healthier mm-hmm. than the volume of alcohol that would be consumed, yeah. mm-hmm. and it'd be reception. more entertaining for everyone there. That's that's mm-hmm. also okay. True. Better really, idea. Really better idea. The wedding venue and the reception venue are one half triathlon apart from each other. It's like, come on, guys. It's an open bar. <laughs> Follow me. Bike, 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 bike. <laughs> That's that's but, but a really like my idea. my biggest question here is how can we make collectively us make your wedding about us? Yes. Mm. How can important. we make your wedding about us? That's if really all what all of I... you wear white dresses. That will do the trick. <laughs> I think. I think that'll do done it. Done and don't done. you think Just I won't? Your your all white dresses are really. I need to get mine let out a little bit. I've put a little on a little weight in the last <laughs> couple of years. Understandable. Understandable. I'm trying to make uh, weight for the wedding. There, trying to lose 15 pounds. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I uh, I saw. So I was actually I was in the gym uh, yesterday. I want to say yep. Yesterday afternoon, and I was I've been running a lot, mm-hmm. way more than I ever have in the Bad past. Idea. Uh, and. To make things a little bit easier, I try and run on the treadmill, Mm -hmm. where I sweat like a pig, by the way. It is just disgusting, Mm -hmm. the amount of just the volume of liquids pouring out of my body. Mm -hmm. 
your through your pores, yes. through other orifices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm a lot crying. Of my yes. ears are bleeding. Yes. I'm peeing myself. Mm-hmm. I'm really You're embracing. Actively. <laughs> really embracing the endurance yeah. lifestyle. Liquid oh, my diarrhea, yeah. diarrhea just flowing out of my butt. And as we discussed last week with uh-huh. Mark Bell, trying to inhale oh, all your right. well, I want to be. I want to be polite. And to like most us. people, you know, would do in this situation when he sweats, he also tries to get on the ground and suck it all up again. <laughs> just roll around, get as much of it back in his shirt as he can. I'm not gonna make. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna feel weird. No, like, you're not gonna succeed in making me feel weird about yes, that. Yes, I am. Uh, so I watched. I watched Clark Cliff work it up. <laughs> 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 oh, I missed the joke. What? <laughs> Everyone else he just, he just gently looked at me and said, fart sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Where's out that sandlot? Isn't that? I think that's, that's one of the insults in sandlot. That's, like, that's, one, of the, that's yeah. one of those insults that meant something when you were nine years old, but right. means absolutely nothing. It was now. said very seriously in yes. sandlot. Mm-hmm. There, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was right before the escalation to you play ball like a girl. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was I was on the treadmill and uh, I could kind of peek past the like little separation wall between the treadmill and the the weight mm-hmm. area, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and of course the treadmill has a timer on it which mm-hmm. I was using for my intervals and I was watching and I watched Cliff do several variations. I don't know how many. You can tell me the exact details. Oh, yeah. but <laughs> lap several down, variations shit. of lap pull downs for <laughs> 38 minutes. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Pretty much. Minutes on minutes on minutes of Cliff yes. sitting in the middle of the pull down machine. Yeah, yeah. Like, you have to kneel because it's fucking short. <laughs> Just <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting like a dragon on a pile of gold, <laughs> letting no one near him. No, no one else was going to do any kind of p- cable pull downs that oh, day. Oh, fuck no. no. Not only was I doing the, uh, not only was I doing the pull downs, I knew that I needed to stack up all my cable exercise at once so it was two varieties of pull down plus cable curls plus cable one arm lateral raises plus maybe you did something, something else with both. oh yeah and rows oh, and no. uh, and a cable rows so like five different people exercises. were circling like little scavenger animals around the down zebra but there was just one big lion sitting <laughs> on top and he's like i am not done no. yet you yeah. will eat second cliff, cliff claimed like staked his claim uh-huh. stuck his claim stuck his claim mm-hmm. yeah and, stuck uh, those are some busy gym things. hours you stay staking stay yeah. out your space is the most important thing there yeah, yeah. And, I, I designed uh, my workouts around that and I just watched it mm. it really is kind of like a like Animal Planet style, mm-hmm. right? You just watch like <laughs> the smaller creatures like make their way around yeah, this yeah. large man who has taken what they want. They're yeah. like, I- I'll just, I- I'll no, just, just maybe if I, I'll just. Or uh, it was the funniest part is watching someone uh, say like, "Oh, can I, can I work in or something?" It's like there's. That's a lot of work to work in. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of pins. So I'm going to have to stand up. You're yeah. going to have to change the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We went to go do lunges in the rack afterwards, mm-hmm. and as we were like setting the rack height, you know, Giannis walks over, sets the rack height, grabs the bar, mm-hmm. and does like a handful of lunges. Mm-hmm. Puts the bar back. I'm like tying my shoes, and in the process of him finishing a lunge, mm-hmm. putting the bar back, and him walking mm-hmm. away to go get like some collars or plates or whatever, mm-hmm. a guy walks up and he's like, you guys using this rack? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we no. just wanted to do four empty bar front mm-hmm. rack lunges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got my workout in. I, I'm sorry it took too long. Yeah, yeah. And uh, In the, his defense, he was, in fact, born yesterday. <laughs> that's, that's what's unique about this guy. <laughs> that's why check, he has, you can check that's, the paper. That's why he has no navel, because he was is, grown in a sack. It, it, it's <laughs> fascinating. Like, you know, you for, we talked about this in the past, but you just, you having spent so much time in a CrossFit gym, mm-hmm. you forget that not everyone gets it. Yes. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, the, uh, it's <laughs> funny that um, I, I, especially, that's why I try and avoid the, the busier hours, but when I am there during the busier hours, I, uh, when, once I once I claim a rack, it is claimed for a very, very long period of time, and you can always see that one person who's kind of circling, you know, because I always use the rack that's like closest to the thing, and I take my time because I'm unlike the rest of the people in the gym, I'm moving actual weight sometimes, right. mm-hmm. <laughs> and so it's like I will, I will, I will finish a set of squats, like I finish a set of squats, and then you just pick up your water bottle, kneel down, walk around. 
around, do a lap, come back, and it's like no one is going to mess with the bar once it's, it has the weight on it. But here's the question. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before. Have you ever seen an open rack, gone over and put weight on the rack, and then gone and continued your warm-up just to sort of lay claim to the rack? Yes. You don't, I've totally I've done that. I've never all the time. done that. It's a good no, idea. I feel like in that in that situation, in that environment, uh, it's almost necessary yes, to do yeah. something like that well, occasionally. It's Yeah, and it's well, also a thing where this gym is different than other gyms I've worked at before because mm-hmm. Hyde Park Gym, for example, I go there. That's lots of very strong guys, lots of power mm-hmm. lifters. I would feel ashamed taking up a rack for too long because mm-hmm. I know stronger men than me may need to use this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here, though, if I'm on the rack, I know with 100% certainty none of the other people here have anything as important to do as me on Cliff this rack Cliff knows right that now. in the hierarchy of strength dominance, <laughs> uh-huh. he is king in this gym and therefore can take any rack or any wife he wants. <laughs> but in the in Hyde Park gym, he doesn't know if he occasionally has to turn over and show his belly and lick someone's chin. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> I'd, I'd have to show my submission on several occasions. Occasions yes. there, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, uh, Kyle Sockwell mm-hmm. trains at a Gold's Gym, yeah, and he squats there all the time. Yeah. And he tells stories about you know he'll be squatting and then someone will walk up and start doing squats with like five or six hundred pounds, and he's just like, "All right, like, what? What am I even? <laughs> who, 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 who squats five or six hundred pounds is working out in a Gold's exactly. Gym? Exactly, yeah. that's my well, question. Bodybuilders, that's well, what they do maybe. there. But I just I think I feel like there's some people who want to be in a lifting conducive environment, uh, and I think that even uh, we're not necessarily in we're, we're we're in a friendly environment right now where we all work out. But I think that there's some people, and maybe I'm wrong, who want to be the big fish in a small pond. They want to be the guys who oh, are lifting the most weight in a given gym. And I say that with a little bit of guilt, given the fact Three that we of now them are sitting on the table. That's, that's, <laughs> that's you. That's you. But, You're saying that you want to be that but person. We're in a gym. We're in a gym with bumper plates and lifting platforms and a bunch of accoutrement that says that is inviting to serious weightlifters to come in. And I've talked to Matt, the guy who, uh, you know, who put in all the equipment. And he's like, no, we want lifters and CrossFitters in here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, but I can only – but you go to a serious lifting gym like a Hyde Park gym or something like that, you know, you're not the big fit. Like I, th- I can imagine that there are definitely some dude bros who would go into a Hyde Park gym and just see a bunch of sweaty <coughs> dudes lifting more weight than them and say, you know what, I'm going to go to, you know, Gold's where like a 17 co-eds will like watch me squat three fifteen and be super impressed. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there is that one bro at at. I know that you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. Sleeveless bro who always has his earbuds in, and then he's only ever talking to the girls at the gym. No. I think so. Uh, short guy, right? Short guy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And he always, he's always times, rapping yeah. to himself. Come on, no, Kyle, you missed this guy. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, mean, I don't. I don't look at dudes like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's. Uh, he's. He's a fantastic specimen. No, I don't. In know terms of is. just like the the college, he's yeah. clearly mm-hmm. a UT like frat guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. I can't imagine. No. No. He's. He's has some sort of job outside yeah. of college. He's a young no. guy still. Young guy. No way. That guy has a job outside of college. <laughs> I've talked to this guy a few times. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 It's. He's. He's. He, he's. <laughs> Well, don't Young. don't pierce the illusion. Yeah, we want to yeah. shit. We want to get like six episodes Look, of content out of shit. Yeah, this guy could have been, been new trap bar deadlift guy. This, this, this is one of the few people guys. there who's occasionally, at least in some upper body lifts, lifting a decent amount he's, of weight. He's, like, listen, mm-hmm. I'll I'll give you the, the yeah, yeah. classic Oreo sandwich of criticism. <laughs> give you something good. Give you something bad. Give you something good. First, he's ugly. He's always there lifting. That's a good thing. Dedication. He's a bit of a dick. Kind yeah. of in that he's always t- talking up the chicks. Mm. I feel like, yeah, and not talking to me. Yeah, and he should be talking to you. <laughs> so, yeah, you feel left out. I, get I feel it. left out. Yeah. And then the other good thing is that he's always lifting. So it's uh, like, Armin, I think you're a pretty pretty lady. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> See, Finally, I work so hard. You're gonna look so all great in that dress. For people to <laughs> <laughs> all I want is for people mm. to come up to me. For viewers only listening, uh, uh, for viewers only listening, check out the Facebook Live where you see Armin in his dress. Yes, there you go. <laughs> He's wearing it <laughs> right now. That's right. Um, yeah, but it, it, the thing is, yeah, uh, is, 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 as funny as all of this is, like I've actually seen like the illusion has kind of been pierced with uh, the trap bar deadlift guy. Maybe he's still trap bar deadlifting, <laughs> but I've seen him back in the gym several times, and it appears that he has committed now to just going to the CrossFit classes in the gym in the small room so I see him just sort of shuffling in and out with the um, with the the group of people who go to the classes in the small room so uh, I've not seen him do anything horrific in the last yeah, yeah well that's the thing yeah. he's, he's there but he has found a new space to he occupy learned he learned his goddamn lesson that's yeah. right I mean I, sl- I only had to slash his tires like three or four
or four times before <laughs> he finally got, got the message. Make sure it's in the sidewall, because yes. really, therefore the tire needs to be replaced. There it needs to be patched. Yes. It, it now, can be patched if you get it uh, in the, tread. the treads. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. sidewall yeah, has yeah. to be a new tire. The mistake I made was I just kept slashing his tires, but left no note or message at all. Yeah. So he See, just I had a bunch of flat tires. I wrote, fuck you, trap bar deadlift guy. <laughs> trap bar de- That's like the trap bar is for shrugs, <laughs> asshole. It was a very long message. Unfortunately, he could probably yeah. track us down, because he would then Google trap bar deadlift <laughs> guy and the <laughs> only place that could ever be found all of you assholes, <laughs> is, is you you assholes have put that uh, Daniel yeah. show us what happens when you google oh, trap bar that's deadlift what we're doing. <laughs> it's going to just all that's going to come up is just naked pictures of us <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. We're not even in the top five. That's uh, fantastic. We'll qu- put quotes around Trap Bar Deadlift guy. Uh, you, you are correct. This right. is the How to right. Google Stuff podcast, uh, you guys. Right. <laughs> anyway, it, this is just riveting. Scott Lafita is the first thing. First thing that's that goes off. Needed. Not good. Uh, that's not good at all. <laughs> well, thankfully, we didn't actually write that in his car. <laughs> good deal. Wow. Well, you know, we, we made Reddit, guys. Oh. Ooh, we have a Reddit feed? All right, no, there's something no, else we can read about. This has got to be a... Uh, avoid that's from, yeah. that's no, that's from a There's different you. that's that's from a different uh, mm. I think someone mentioned me in a Reddit thread. Yes. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah. I think Trap Bar Deadlift we guy has some subject subject of the Reddit We do thread. not yet have the cultural penetration for there even to be a Reddit thread about the Scale is Nation. No, podcast. not at all. Scale is no. Nation. <laughs> don't create don't a Reddit do thread don't about do, our do podcast. Do we it. Did. I Listen. want you to subclip your favorite aspects, your favorite moments from the podcast, and put that out there. We really, I think we can get traction on this internet. You know, I don't know how I don't know how it happened, but we had a we had we I took the regionals discussion, the mm-hmm. discussion about the regionals workouts and not having any barbells in mm-hmm. it, and I took that little like twenty minute segment and I uploaded it on its own mm-hmm. to YouTube, mm-hmm. which is not at all representative of the show, mm-hmm. right? It's the only in like forty something episodes, mm-hmm. the only serious discussion we've had about fitness. <laughs> yeah. The only discussion and that so, wasn't Westworld. Yeah. yeah, someone commented with, I've never heard of this podcast, but that was quite a good discussion. I was oh, like, really? Man, yeah. you're gonna be fucking disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is, I'm we so have led sorry. you astray. Uh, I can't believe I just did that to you. But I'm so sorry. Wait, he is that guy is tuning in and he's like, I can't wait for some more serious discussion. <laughs> yeah. Like this is really exciting. I yeah. haven't found hey, a good we, podcast We've for spent this. the first 30 minutes talking about things in a gym. Yeah, that's we true. Even only, if they're not serious it's fitness true. This is true. We talk about fitness seriously only to allow people to see how seriously we are capable of discussing right. fitness <laughs> to, by contrast, let us let the audience know that we are willfully disavowing all of that in, in the future. So. Right. It's a power yeah, play. It's exactly. Well, we just want to show I, them what's I do what. love, our, like our MO really is, like, you know, the, the people are brought in because they enjoy fitness. That's their whole Truth. thing. And we are deliberately mm-hmm. stating Yes, that thing you enjoy, we don't want to talk about. That's mm-hmm. also true. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of experiences in gyms, mm-hmm. our experience in the gym is about this place that is kind of like an afterthought that's attached to an, mm-hmm. a bouldering gym, right? It's mm-hmm. the best thing in the world. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Chase Long, mm-hmm. handsome guy. Yo, there he is. That's the handsome man. Cam. <laughs> handsome Cam. What's up? Uh, handsome Chase. Oh, wait, Chase. In the background is Mr. Paul Gandersman. <laughs> Oh, he's making us some coffee. He's making coffee. 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 Yeah. coffee in the background. Uh, yeah. We'll have to bring that up to him later. The little kitchenette here at the Flow <laughs> HQ is is right. visible behind uh, behind handsome guy. So handsome yep. guy Chase works out at mm. the exact opposite of yes. our our <laughs> situation. Where do you work out, Chase? Tell me. Tell yeah, me yeah, about I your exercise. Out. I'm fittingly wearing the shirt. Uh, I work pronounce out it. CrossFit Yakaru. Yakaru. Yeah, and it's, he now, here's it my question: <laughs> Wait, Is uh, is Katie Brazil still over there? Yeah, she is actually. Okay, cool. She goes at a different time than me. But gotcha. She's still Did there. you talk to her about her 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 days at Flow Elite? No, I have not. No, I've she, only talked to her once. Yes, I think didn't she actually? Didn't she have you know your job didn't exist? I think when she no, worked. she, no, she had, had like, Armin's yeah. job. That's right. No, it was like a combination. Yeah, kind of yeah. She had to do everything basically. She was the do everything until yeah, I showed yeah. up. That's Ugh. right. Yeah, she was kind of the she was the original uh, one of the original Flow Elite people, and now mm-hmm. she does she actually does uh, gymnastics seminars for CrossFitters yeah. now. Mm-hmm. But she was like a serious gymnast, like a, a Georgia, Georgia, Georgia yeah. or Alabama. Georgia. Georgia. I would always get them confused, and it would anger her. So let's put that out into the world. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so and yeah, how, so how are things over at Yaraku? <laughs> at, <laughs> at, at Yaraku is that the, is that the planet at, where Ray Yaraku <laughs> just? <laughs> <laughs> How are things at Jacobies? <laughs> How are things at the Jackalope? 
Uh, <laughs> CrossFit Jackaroo. It means polar bear's dick. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So Chase gets to train uh, with actual, legit, real fitness people. That sounds intimidating. It's, yeah, oh, like yeah, yeah. When you talk about yeah. walking into Hyde Park Gym and seeing a bunch of people like squatting six or 700 pounds, and you're like, mm. you know what? I think I'm going to be okay just yeah, squatting just over my here. four bills over there yeah, yeah. where no one else can squat that much. I'm going to squat only in the proximity of 90-pound rock climbers. Chase, tell me a little bit about that guy <laughs> and his clean. <laughs> <laughs> so so the other day we have a guy that goes to our 10 a.m. class and he's hitting he hits first starts out with a five pound PR on his power clean mm-hmm. by hitting 375 yeah. then mm-hmm. he proceeds to hit 385 mm-hmm. and he finishes that with 390 this a is a power clean 90 pound power, power clean. clean how big is this gentleman is he a big he man? is my size that's bullshit <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up Chase, is, Chase is like normal CrossFitter size uh, plus an inch. To the in, audience in at home, it is important to remember that Chase is 11 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, and he can deadlift 900 pounds. <laughs> uh, that Chase is a living planet. <laughs> it's uh, what is known as a celestial. It is, it is <laughs> he is an elder of the Marvel Universe. Absolutely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy was inspired by him. Yes. He yeah. was um, the guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> so, so I go to this gym with a bunch of savages, right? Because uh-huh. that guy isn't even on our regional team. He's <laughs> just a <laughs> random dude. <laughs> to make it out to the regional team. Uh, he has, has he not learned the butterfly kip yet? No, that's right. <laughs> so he, he did, like he also it. tested, he did the event two. Positive for. <laughs> 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 he also tested event two, which was the, the power snatch and ring dip workout that Kyle, you did yeah. recently as well. Yes, How sort did of. your version go? My version involved a lot of standing by, by the dips and <laughs> waiting for my muscles to recover <laughs> so that I could do more dips. Mm-hmm. That was come on, those, arms. Come on, arms. You look like <laughs> 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 these, these, these are the ring dips, right? Yeah. No, no, I didn't even do ring dips. I did bar dips, and I did 15, 12, 9, and that was enough dips for me. Uh, that was basically like do five, wait for my pecs and shoulders to recover, do five more, and then wait for my pecs and shoulders to recover. But the uh, the reminds uh, me of the first time I did Fran back in the day. Yes. It was seventeen minutes that mainly consisted of me looking up at the pull up bar. Yes, yes. But Fun. the uh, but what was nice is that the uh, the uh, the one armed snatches were actually kind of fun. I was expecting those to be really a bitch, but I kind of, but I actually kind of enjoyed them and kind of want to incorporate more of them. Anyway, we're telling a story about Chase. Oh yeah, no, no that no, guy wait, who guy power it, cleans yes. the three ninety. Yeah, yeah, he also did that event or something uh-huh. very very similar to that event. Yeah, the only difference was that it was strict instead of kipping. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So strict ring dips. Cool. Eighty pound dumbbell snatches. Uh-huh. Twenty one fifteen nine. Mm-hmm. Under two and a half minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I just can't. I don't. I can't even wrap my fucking puny brain around <laughs> that is basically, a performance like that. That is that that at that point you are he's you are moving as fast as you, one could mechanically uh, execute those movements. So I would imagine so because yeah. I remember I I did I tested that event. Mm-hmm. I did that workout on Monday. Yeah. And uh, I got to the ring dips uh-huh. at 140 yeah, yeah. in the first round. <laughs> so oh, he, wow. was, he was already back to his set of nine by he, the time. He was finishing his set of nine. He was finishing his set of nine by the time. How is this to... guy not on the regional team? He's is, not he good la- is he lacking some skill? So, so he has went, he's been on their he team has in the no past. He no legs. Um, the, the only problem going forward this year is, I mean, some things have changed yeah. with his life, obviously, but now we have three guys that qualified as individuals. Ooh, uh, yeah. So he's just, you know, he's That's still right. great, but uh, the other three dudes, one of them happens to be uh, our it, mutual friend, Mike Casual. Yeah, so uh, little known fact, you guys have heard of Brute Strength? Sure, the why programming not? conglomerate. That stuff that I, I have? Right. Yeah, Brute yes. Strength, I got you. Uh, <laughs> so one of the guys who's the head of Brute is... Uh, Mike Cashew, mm. who was on Ute's team. Like giant Japanese monster attack cities? Yeah. Cashew? Yeah. Hmm. Not kai, Kaiju. Kaiju. <laughs> Pacific Rim? Yeah, yeah. Pacific Rim. Exactly. Da, 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 Mike Pacific Rim. Mike Pacific Rim. Uh, so Cashew Not is, gonna forget it is now. one of the guys <laughs> who, who's uh, the head of Brute Strength. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, he is on the Yakaru team. Mm-hmm. He lives here in Austin, mm-hmm. and he trains at Yakaru, and he's on the Yakaru team. So yeah, yeah. it's like you're you're basically edged out by a games champion, yeah, like yeah. another team games champion who's who's like yeah, a yeah. monster. 
Yeah, uh, I imagine though at this point, and Chase, you could probably give us greater insight than uh, this, but I imagine that the big dog gyms in any given town have a gravitational pull to them, where it's just like if we can get enough of us all training under one roof, we can send a team. So I'm, I'm wondering, like, did some of these people migrate to? Uh, Jacoby, to, in order to, um, <laughs> in order to specifically band together to form a competitive regional team, is that is that accurate? I, I, yeah, I think it's definitely most people are drawn by the coaching no. to that mm-hmm. to that location. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. cool. <laughs> I, I have no, I have no for, good. Insight. One further important question about uh, CrossFit uh, Yakaru there. Oh, nice. um, it's enough of a power move that you have. An A with two dots on it. Do you need two A's with two dots on it? <laughs> yeah. Do you need the double umlaut? The dub lot? <laughs> Absolutely. Because one more lot. is more. <laughs> more and is more is more. better. For, what would the pronunciation be if there was only one A with two dots? Jack yes. yeah, Akaru. It means bear in Elvish. <laughs> it doesn't actually. <laughs> it actually means polar bear. It means polar bear. Polar bear. Yeah. I've seen that on the thing. Or Finnish? Finnish? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you know. I don't know. We're calling you out, CrossFit Jiraku. (laughs) Jiraku. That's terrible. Uh, Uh, Yeah, so uh, speaking of really high-level teams, so Yakar is going to be competing mm -hmm. at uh, regionals this weekend. The Mm -hmm. South Regional is is in our backyard. In San Antonio, not, not backyard enough though. It's still ninety right. minutes away. Right, they could easily have put it in Austin. Next year, twenty-five percent of this table is going to go. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so we'll be there on yeah. Saturday. Not cool. will, no. not will you, but like yeah. you. me. Will isn't going. Me will be there. Yes, with mm. with Chase. Chase, I'll be there as well. That's right. uh, so on like Saturday. Flo Lee wasn't willing to pony up the budget to get you three whole days of driving <laughs> to San Antonio. That's, that's actually a hundred percent accurate. <laughs> One hundred percent accurate. It was like, ah, oh, man, you got to pick. Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, all right, I guess I'll just drive down there for one day. Uh-huh. Oh, I made the right decision on that budgeting. <laughs> so is the gas money for the three different drives is just too much? It's just too much. It's okay. not just the gas money. It's it's having to feed both myself and Chase <laughs> for three days. They're they're only willing it's to take. It's not important. It's only the regional competition for CrossFit. That's true. So, yeah, no, I mean, it's true. Yeah, not does not doesn't matter. Either so what way, are you looking for? to seeing at the regional competition in San Antonio, Texas? Well, uh, we picked Saturday mm-hmm. because, I, in my opinion, Saturday has the most exciting events. Sophie's Choice. Yeah. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Sophie's Choice. It's yeah. a movie. It's a yeah, movie. yeah. Yeah, Meryl yeah. Streep. She has uh-huh. to make a choice because she's, like, uh, she's going into a concentration camp and she has like two kids and they only allow her to keep one, so she has to choose which one of her kids to keep. And then she puts them through a, a Hunger Games-esque. Yes. She pits them against each other to see who can do the most thrusters, <laughs> <laughs> and the one that's not a baby wins. They compete in a in a hijinks filled eighties colorful, uh, yeah. yes, sitcom yes. style competition. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, American Gladiator. That sounds fantastic. Uh, yeah, so we picked Saturday because Nickelodeon's guts. I think Saturday <laughs> is a much more exciting day of competition. Yeah, yeah. The first event on Saturday is that. Uh, Overhead lunge, double under, wall ball, rope climb, mm-hmm. chipper situation. Yeah. And then the next event is that like handstand walk and heavy kettlebell deadlift. Mm-hmm. That I'm market. excited to see. I'm yeah, excited yeah. to see how that fucks people up. I just want to see some ke- kettlebell deadlift slash farmers walks yeah, there. Yeah. And if people are really uh, broken by it. Yeah, yeah. I want to see some regionals athletes like shit their spines out. Dude. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. I don't uh, want to see some full <laughs> Mortal Kombat shit there. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fantastic. So we picked we picked that day. Steal one of those big ass kettlebells. Bring right. it back with you. Super easy. That Super is not going to be challenging at all. No. Just, <laughs> just like, I, I, how would I even hide it? I would either be walking mm. around like an yeah. idiot, like, <laughs> like dragging, or I would, yeah, yeah. what, put it in my pants mm-hmm. and just hope that the four-way stretch. Exactly. If anyone asks, you yeah. have a severe case case of elephantitis of the scrotum. <laughs> yes. Um, but you one, one of the people one of the things you'll see <laughs> Man, it's just all I can think about is that one guy. The one guy that watched the regionals discussion and was like, oh, good discussion. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check this out. <laughs> Can't wait to look at other good discussions you guys have had. Cut to Just tell them you have elephantitis of the scrotum there. Cut to your testicles are too big. Oh yes. man, kettleballs. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like that one. Dude, you should make you should make a set of kettlebells. You know how they make on it has the gorilla face? Yeah. You should make a kettlebell that's a that's a sack. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not sack. Well, we've talked about it with that. Uh, well, 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 we're gonna put a When you look at someone from behind there who's swinging the kettlebells and doing kettlebell swings with the nut sack just coming out the back, just some back sack and the bend over. It's like yeah. these, you know, like truck nuts. Truck so this is the natural like evolution of truck fitness. nuts. Yeah, huh? it's the fitness version of truck nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, dude. Can we take? <laughs> so if only sad. we can find a way to redirect. So if only dude. we can t- find a way to redirect all of the like cultural freight that truck nuts have into kettlebells. It'll really class up the joint in <laughs> yeah. most of a CrossFit gym. That's why so many people yeah. were so into barbells, right? They didn't. Yeah. They didn't want to see like long dicks. They look like big long steel dicks. They <laughs> exactly. didn't want to see anything else. Exactly. Is snatch? Is I mean, that why? <laughs> <laughs> that has never occurred to me. <laughs> Subconsciously, Chase, I think that's why. You Deep know down. how, like, every t- when you see a barbell, you start thinking about dicks? We all do it, <laughs> you know? So, just saying. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll be there on Saturday. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, we'll get to see the only non-dumbbell events. You get to see emerging uh, CrossFit superstar Bethany Branham yes. uh, there. Yes, uh, apparently. First in, uh, first in the Open in um, South, Re- South Regional, right, Chase? Yeah. Right? First in the South Regional. And so they gave her a little interview on the CrossFit.coms uh, there, and she has the perfect triumvirate uh, for CrossFit uh, superstardom. Uh, she is ex-competitive gymnast mm, who then transitioned it. to bodybuilding after nailed that it. and then she was interviewed in front of a gun safe <laughs> <laughs> like no doubt yes that's Hold for, on like for real I Daniel, think Dave Castro is going to bend quick. his programming around yeah. making her win that yes, I mean exactly. that sounds like Carrie Pierce plus guns yes plus guns so Carrie Pierce and she she's a couple already guns. got some guns, guns going on Whoa. Whoa. That's right, Bob. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's quite <laughs> interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. I honestly hadn't seen anything about her. No, I was not aware of her. I just saw the interview pop up, and so I, I watched it. And I mean, I think for obvious reasons, she's a she's a rookie. <laughs> she has obviously a pe- an, inter- an interesting <laughs> pedigree. She wins the Open, and then and she also is very attractive. So the f- perfect combination there. And then they cut to like some footage in the middle, and she was doing some Olympic lifting, some light Olympic lifting, but her movements looked at least very clean. Hey, so but you know what? Doesn't it's matter. fucking irrelevant. It doesn't, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Throw those Olympic Dumbbells. clips out the window. In fact, yeah, yeah. I've been watching uh, a lot of regionals athletes on Instagram actually continuing to use dumbbell or mm. barbells. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Why would you They're ever done do that? Forever. Mm. You would literally never have to touch a barbell yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. They are now anathema a yes. in CrossFit. Yes. The, yeah. That's why Dave Castro posted that uh, it was just a, a, a tombstone with a dumbbell on it, um, not a dumb barbell. barbell. You get it? I'm pretty high so right close. now. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Almost nailed it. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we uh, Dan, Dan Scott Jr. from Facebook said, mm-hmm. I tuned in right as someone said, just tell them your testicles are too big. <laughs> My boss said it's probably time to get back to work. Guess I'll have to wait till the audio version. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly right. That is exactly uh, the reaction we were yeah. looking for. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. it's, it's, been, it's been like 45 episodes and we've yep. done maybe like 10 of them live uh-huh. or less. I don't uh-huh. know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, we still haven't learned to put like a not safe for work tag. No. <laughs> no. That's, no. That's probably That ruins the fun. That's right. the fun part, is uh, right. Uh, I apologize. You can mm-hmm. you can email Kyle at flowsports.tv. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Kyle dot Sockwell at flowsports.tv. Uh, yeah. So just let him have it. Uh-huh. Another thing about regionals, and this kind of uh, kind of goes goes back to Chase's mm-hmm. uh, workout buddy, who's you know power cleans mm-hmm. three ninety and and does all that. You know all that twenty one fifty nine power mm-hmm. snatch, ring dip thing, whatever. It is like super fast. Mm-hmm. Who isn't quite fit enough to make it on the team? <laughs> I've lost some ability to predict how long workouts should take. Yeah. Because yeah. yesterday we were talking. Yesterday Chase and I sat down. We had this long thing on Facebook where we talked about who we think is going to win the mm-hmm. regionals and who's going to qualify and all that sort of stuff. And we yeah. actually were uh, pretty similar in most of our guesses. I think we only yeah. we only changed. Uh, or disagreed on three positions mm-hmm. out of like the twenty positions. That Did either available. of you pick what's your head with the dumb uh, the uh, gun rack binder? Yeah, he bit. He yeah. bit. Oh, okay, he okay. Did. I actually yeah. tuned in briefly because I was 
bored. <laughs> it's something to do. And yeah, you guys discussed the time domain, but your time predicted time domain for the dumbbell snatch uh, ring dip mm-hmm. workout was that you didn't think unless you were in the gym it could get below sub 230 and then... Well, my guess was at regionals it'll be close yeah. to around 230. And then a, uh, a guy uh-huh. who coaches a games athlete, Jacob Sipkin, was like, no, no, it's going to be closer to three. And then my guess on event five... Mm. Which was is like the twenty one fifty nine muscle, muscle ups and, and overhead <laughs> squats with the dumbbell. I was like, you know, I think it'll be like ten to twelve minutes. And he messaged me and he was like, you're gonna see people doing like seven or eight. And mm-hmm. I asked Chase on our way back. I was like, dude, am I like completely off here? As to yeah, how yeah. long it's gonna be? And he kind of looked at me, like as if, <laughs> as if like I, I was like letting him down. He was mm-hmm. like. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're. Uh, I think you're way off on that one. <laughs> I think it's just because you haven't spent enough time in the field, Armin. You're not in the lion's den anymore. That's it. You know, you don't know what kind of what, what kind of beast they're breeding out there. I now, don't. You know? I, I no longer know what's possible. Yeah, and what is? I got people. They're being interviewed in front of gun safes. That's <laughs> all sorts of shits <laughs> happening out there. It's a fucking wild west. You know, it, there w- there was a time <laughs> when <laughs> bodybuilding <laughs> was the <laughs> absolute like uh-huh. worst co- possible thing you could be confused as. With it CrossFit, was like a right? black mark. Uh, mm-hmm. It was like a scarlet letter. You and know, now in, we're uh, like, hey, bodybuilders. Yeah. Come on in, folks. Well, exactly. Water's we, nice. You don't really get a better combination of elements than someone with a competitive gymnast, gymna, uh, gymnastics background who then spends several years taking steroids <laughs> and now is <laughs> going to transition into CrossFit. Those I'm gains not, stay with you. Those gains stay with you. Hmm. Uh, All right. So, yeah, we'll be down there. Chase and I will be down there at regionals. If you're down there at regionals, uh, I guess come down and say what's up. If you see us, we'll be the two um, dudes with buns, I guess. (laughs) Be the two guys guys who packed with buns in the whole (laughs) arena. You'll be the two guys who packed your lunches. We'll be we'll be the two guys with with what looks like but is oh, definitely is. not yeah. hundred and fifty pound kettlebells in our pants. <laughs> there we go. Gun safe. Gun safe. Oh, yes. got it. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Is that at the gym? Her gym has a gun safe. For sure. Wow. No, could be. A, yeah. It's either her gym has a gun safe or her living room has like a ten foot by ten foot Invader coffee banner. <laughs> so either or either possible. way. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 She, Plus, she works my at a god. Is she attractive there? Yeah. So I think I'm, I, I look forward to her winning the CrossFit Games. <laughs> She's a cutie. <laughs> I for one. Uh, no. I, <laughs> Submit to our future Bethany Overlord. <laughs> I, for one, would like to be the first to welcome Bethany Brown. <laughs> Oh man! You know who else has been getting a lot of press recently? Who it hasn't been r- <laughs> like super competitive, but is very attractive is uh. Allison Scuds out of uh, no, Florida. Oh, yeah. she, oh, trains, she trains with she's with she's Noah. been in the background in both of the Noah pieces that uh, we've That's had right. out there. She's been heavily featured background oh. player. Yes, cool. mm-hmm. so she trains is, at. Uh, uh, what is it called? A peak 360. Peak yep. 360 yeah. Guido Trinidad's gym. Guido Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't it's, know. You're, 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 you're so endlessly so amused by Guido. It's a silly it's name. It's a great name. It is a great it's name. A great name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Guido's gym, Peak 360. Uh-huh. Is uh, is in Miami and Allison Scuds yeah. trains That's out a hell of a picture. Yeah, just, yeah, that yeah is, Scuds. Let's try to see if we can around. get it bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think I don't you can, think do can do that. Do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Enhance. she's she's done like in, <laughs> in, in, <laughs> she's done in person uh, in person interviews and stuff with the games and stuff. I think you know maybe they're just they're definitely got they've got their finger <laughs> on the pulse on what is what is upcoming. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm curious to see how Scuds does it. Yeah, at yeah. The, uh, so how did she finish? Scene. She finished uh, sixth. You said she did finish sixth in okay. in her regions. She qualified good, good, pretty good. pretty high. Cool. She I don't know if she'll be in the first or the uh, or the second heats at regionals. Mm-hmm. But the last time we were hanging out with Noah right before he won the mm-hmm. uh, 2016 Open. She and Noah's dog were in a competition to see who could have the most Instagram followers. <laughs> the open. I mean, listen, but, but Maximus the, edged her out. That's true, but but the, but she ended up getting sponsored by that fitness dog food, <laughs> Nulo. So, yeah. so she's training exclusively on. Suck it, Max. <laughs> uh, 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 he's yeah. a good boy. Anyway, um, terrible. Yeah, He's so I would boy. like to be the first to welcome our Scuds Overlord. 
<laughs> that actually um, sounds like the name of an overlord yes. of some kind. Mm. She is. Uh, she will fight the elder god Chase <laughs> for dominion <laughs> over Earth. Uh, yeah. So you know, I think uh, we are all looking forward to regionals. Those of us who actually care I'm about not. CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two people in this room that actually give a shit are are very yeah, much well, looking I, forward to regionals. I'm very curious to see. Honestly, at this, I think that once regionals became super regionals, I kind of everything became very gray in my mind, and I just I don't pay attention anymore. It's like I'll just see who qualifies. I did go last year. I was very bored for a lot of it. That lives in <laughs> Dallas. That's even further away. Yeah, but I, my parents live in Dallas, so oh, I had okay. a place to stay. I don't have anyone point. to stay with in San Antonio. Don't stay. It's an yeah, hour drive. This is true. I used to drive to San Antonio every day there and back when I was a bank courier. I uh, had a lot of time to think about all the mistakes I had made up to that point in my life. <laughs> 90 minutes there, drop off some bags, 90 minutes back. At nine o'clock at night, it was terrible. Just Crazy. bad decisions yes. led yep. to that one yes. moment in your life, mm -hmm. and then you turned it all around, and I here you are right all now. All around, look at this, just yes. peaking. Scale is needed. Superstar, everything. Yes. Peaking <laughs> super hard right yes. now. We do have to talk about your Hitler mustache, which I see you shaved off <laughs> since <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Beautiful, uh, dude. It grows like that. Yes. I don't know what what I can say. I've been trying. It only grows as Fu Manchu as and Hitler. Hitler. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> part of my face doesn't. But grow the Fu any Manchu. Hair. The Fu Manchu is not strong enough to distract no, from no, the no, Hitler. No, no, no. And you no. know, it makes it worse because when I talk, <laughs> the Halloween shadow costume. Of my oh. nose, the shadow of my nose fills in the Hitler stash and makes it that. Well, much you, worse. you need to have some even lighting. You know, something coming for you. Uh, you can't see something over there. Any yes. sort of overhead lighting and arm is Hitler. Look at that fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You picked that as the gift to put. Are you kidding me? Strong new chase. So now, now Armin will forever on the internet be associated with the hashtag accidental Hitler. There Thank you, Shane. No, okay. so, there's no uh, oversight in the marketing department. No one looked at the yeah, tweet and was so like, like no one, you know, maybe, maybe not somewhere, Hitler. Maybe somewhere. don't use Hitler your in name, marketing material. Your name is now on a list, Armin. Your name's on some sort of uh, list. So I, I do have a question for everyone. Do I click the hashtag and see what comes no, up? No, 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 no. Do that on your own time. No fucking uh, way. All dude. we know is that. Armin, this is a company-approved hashtag, guys. Mm -hmm. oh, let's come up with... I'd say Armin has two things in common with Hitler. One is his mustache, <laughs> yeah. and two, you will have to guess. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not buy one for this game. They no, both play the bassoon. Let's see guesses in the comments. Failed artists. <laughs> Failed. Uh, yeah. So that's right. Submit. Hashtag scale is nation. Hashtag Armin and Hitler. Hashtag Hitler Armin. Hashtag Armin Hitler. Any of them will do, really, if we can get those in circulation. And put out your guesses for what let's other thing Armin has in common it's With more Adolf like <laughs> <laughs> it's more like Fitler, am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Hashtag <laughs> Fitler. <laughs> That's your new nickname for the rest <laughs> of your life. <laughs> You've done it to yourself. Hitler. You have done it to yourself. Uh, Pepe the Frog. Look at me now, Mom. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, you were so wrong. That's fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. um, I wish we could. It's end rare that someone <laughs> comes up. Yeah, it's rare someone comes up with their own nickname that they will use for the rest of their life. But no, sir. this is a special moment. Yeah. At Fitler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At Fitler. <laughs> It's just a clever uh, play. I'm just going to leave this up for the rest of the episode. I, yeah. guess. I think that's that is a funny do. gift. Yeah. It is a uh -huh. funny gift. Mm -hmm. Strong that's a chase. terrible hashtag, Chase. Yeah. Why would you do that? Uh, I trusted you. It's, uh, no it's a marketing a thing you wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So <laughs> I trusted you. Uh, I don't. I don't really. Do you guys? So we have the trailer for the Leif Engels piece coming out. And that's something that we'll talk about. We have a piece on a strong woman. That's right. Out, that's and true. I know nothing about it because Cliff did it. Uh huh. Uh, it's good. It's, and it is good. It uh, raises the question, and you folks can give your answers and comments. The sport technically is strong man, yeah, but she's a woman, and when women do it, we call it strong woman, perhaps. Yeah. So is she 
a female strongman competitor, or is it the sport of strong woman, or do we need is it a fireman firefighter thing where we need a whole new name? Strong fighter. Mm, strong yeah. fight. Strong fighter doesn't work, but is there strong something that works as the uh, yeah, well, new name for the sport? There, I can't off the top of my head think of a gender neutral qualifier for strongman. So like strong blah, person. strong strong person strong doesn't person. Say, doesn't sound very good. I do I do have an affinity for the notion of calling the sport itself strongman, you know, and so you're a female strongman competitor, you're a male strongman competitor, because to me the the, the word strongman uh, more so than revert, does not I don't associate it with the world's strongest man so much as I associate it with the kind of old timey earliest tw- early 20th century idea of a strongman, a guy mm-hmm. who like does a one handed dumbbell lift or who picks up heavy shit and so when I think of strongman I, I think of it in kind of a Gender neutral concept that is just about the like strong man modalities and the strong man. Oh, it's, uh, it's like an Iron Man, like right? Iron man yeah. we, we asked her about uh-huh. it actually, and she said she'd never really thought about it, mm-hmm. but thinks that strong man refers to humankind, mm-hmm. like hu- human. Yeah, yeah. I think that Iron Man is an interest is a good analog, you know, because yeah, yeah. um, you know if you compete Iron Man, they don't have a they don't have a, some sort of gender neutral qualifier. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, they, not, well, iron, yeah. it's just called Iron Man, right? So it's not we're iron going Roman. with that. No, because that would be lame. <laughs> yes. Unless of course you compete like half Iron Man, and then you're just a half man, <laughs> like uh, tin on man. Game of Thrones. Mm. Tin Man. Yes, I'll be a Tin Man. Speaking of fine. Game of Thrones, segue. Into, into what? <laughs> Half Thor. <laughs> wow. See? Okay. Pretty that good. That was really strong. Okay. Pretty uh, good. Yeah, so Half Thor, <laughs> so world's strongest man, if if people listening don't know, I don't mm. know if you guys know, is not a live sporting event Oh, that would have been also a good segue, is right. just the fact that we're discussing the sport he competes in. There we go. No, but all you roads should have gone to Game Rome. of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so world's strongest man uh-huh. is not a live sporting event. Yep. It's... It, Happens mm-hmm. as like a almost like a reality TV show, yeah. and then they package it up, turn it into turn mm-hmm. into episodes, and then release those episodes around Christmas time. So mm-hmm. it's uh, it's starting it's starting in the next couple days. They're yeah. all traveling oh, out there to Botswana, hmm. and um, there's a lot of really interesting storylines mm-hmm. this year at World's Strongest Man, including fucking five time podium finisher Thor. Half Thor Bjornsson, mm-hmm. who literally has been on the podium every year sure, for the past, one. I think, five or six years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he is bigger and stronger mm-hmm. than he's ever been. Oh, yes. How this, much bigger, Armin? A lot bigger. Yeah. He is, he's weighing in probably 25 pounds heavier than he has mm-hmm. in the past. Well, according to Stan Efferding, who's been uh, handling his nutrition for a little while there, it was an interview, I think, I heard with Stan Efferding uh, and Chad Wesley Smith. But, uh, yeah, Half Thor in previous years has had trouble uh, eating enough food to get to the weight he needs to be. He would talk about how he'd eat a lot of food for the strongman season, get up to 420, but then he'd have to give his body a rest, and he'd go back down to 390. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Stan Efferding <laughs> fixed. small 390. Yeah, so Stan, real Stan, small but he, 390. But he would do that by just eating. As, 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 Stan, as Stan Efferding put it, horizontal eating, i.e. he would look at all kinds of different foods and just eat them all there. He made his uh, eating vertical eating. I don't mm. understand the analogy yeah, exactly. Yeah, headstand, and then but, you eat. Yeah, but yeah. basically eating a more limited uh, selection of foods and a lot but more all of, it. of it at the yes. same time. <laughs> all yeah. of it at the same time. But he has them doing like white rice with dextrose sprinkled on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> getting in over. Because the goal of getting in, he needs to get down like over 1,000 uh, grams of carbohydrates per day. And he's got Half Thor up to 455 pounds for some of his, uh, <clears throat> for some of his uh, more recent uh, yeah. f- uh, feats of strength. At there. Europe's strongest yeah. man. Europe's strongest man. He's uh-huh. weighing in right around 450. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's yeah. no like limit or anything on strongman. You can no. just be as big as you because they well, put a limit at 500 uh-huh. pounds. <laughs> you know what we've been seeing? It's been a trend. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Marius Pujanovski mm-hmm. won, I think, five World Strongest Man titles in the 2000s, mm-hmm. and he was compared to these guys very small. I mean, mm-hmm. he was shorter and he was he was much much lighter. Yeah, yeah. But he won because the events were a little more athletic based. Mm-hmm. He was able to win a lot of the dynamic events mm-hmm. and he was also like redonkulously strong for his yeah, size. Yeah. Um but someone like, you know, uh 
Brian Shaw steps in, and then the events kind of sort of change. Like everything mm-hmm. changed when yeah, a dude yeah. who's six nine, mm-hmm. four hundred pounds walks in and starts playing. Yeah, the yeah. game changes, right? So even even uh, Brian Shaw, who's going for his fifth title this year, mm-hmm. is coming in heavier than he ever has in the yeah. past. Really? Okay. Yeah, he's coming mm-hmm. in bigger. He calls himself now Gigantor. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. He says Gigantor is coming. Gigantor. He grew a beard and everything. It's oh, fantastic. Cool. Oh, yeah. I need to see a picture of that. So, he showed uh, some T-shirts that say so Gigantor I, on them. Probably. Yes. I hope so. So Brian Shaw is, is even putting on size mm-hmm. to compete. And this mm-hmm. year they're doing something they haven't done in almost 20 years, which yeah. is they're, they're testing in the finals. So the way it works is they fly everyone. Everyone goes to Botswana, yeah. and they bring in, I think, like 25 athletes. Mm-hmm. And you're put into groups, and each group basically has a strongman competition. Mm-hmm. They have like a five-event competition. Mm-hmm. And then you qualify <laughs> out of that group for the finals. Mm-hmm. And so uh, – now this year in the finals for the first time ever they're going to have or not the first time ever but the first time in like 20 years they're going to have uh, a deadlift event Mm -hmm. a pressing event and a squat event so Mm -hmm. they haven't done all three in 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 20 years. Interesting. Uh, do you, I wonder what the, the, the uh, do you think that the influence of that is that some of the crossover between, some of the crossover between uh, Strongman and uh, CrossFit and stuff and, and more of the weightlifting elements no, being pulled in, do you think? I, I think it's because Eddie Hall is super fucking strong. <laughs> and <laughs> he's really good at those three things. Oh. And they want to make a good show yeah. and, <clears throat> and give. Yeah, give. That, that is the thing to mention. We're talking about yeah. how much bigger and stronger Half Thor and Brian Shaw are coming in. But I think really in the, uh, movie that is made of this, that will just help serve to set the stage for Eddie Hall's <laughs> rise to uh, victory here. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, no. here's... So, you know, Brian Shaw is no doubt about it, the best strongman in the world. Yep. There's no question in anybody's mind. And World's Strongest Man is like... It's hard to picture a stronger man than the giant six foot nine, yeah. five hundred pound yeah. monster. It's, yes. It is. It is hard to picture a, a, stronger, a stronger man, man. than the world's strongest yes. man. Yeah, He's and tough. he also won the Arnold this yeah. year, which is is arguably the heaviest of the competitions. Mm-hmm. And so it goes to show that he has he has mm-hmm. a, a lot of uh, of his size mm-hmm. has been helping him. Right, it's not mm-hmm. something that's been hindering him in, in any way. So I'm curious to see exactly how it turns out mm-hmm. because you know we have. Uh, I would say we'll four. find out on cell phone cameras. Yeah, from we'll people who are standing thing. around. We'll, we'll find out based off we'll of like find really out the shitty way our, Instagram <laughs> videos. Mm-hmm. We'll find out mm-hmm. the way our ancestors did 15 <laughs> years ago by watching ESPN pre-taped programming blocks months yeah, after the fact. Six months yeah. after the event is over, yeah. uh, and they're actually not even allowed to talk about how it goes. Really? Oh, yeah, really? they don't usually post afterwards. Huh. So we actually, despite the fact that it will have taken place, we won't actually know. Oh, we'll know. Oh, we'll, we'll know. know. Yeah, we'll like, know. That's we'll what I said. About it. Okay. We will be looking yeah. Yeah, yeah. at yeah. cell phone footage Word. of that for several mm-hmm. months yeah. prior to edited segments coming out. Yeah. Perfect. Uh-huh. And so, um, you know, I think th- this year at, at the World's Strongest Man, there's a lot of really awesome storylines. Like, mm-hmm. they're not doing such a great job right now of promoting them, but that interim time of producing mm-hmm. the little, like, package shows... Mm-hmm. They generally do a pretty good job of like going out to the mm-hmm. athletes, and they do kind of like vignettes with them, and mm-hmm. use that to tell the storyline through mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. through the episodes. But uh, you know, we have Brian Shaw coming in who wants to win his fifth title, mm-hmm. which would be epic. Mm-hmm. You know, other than Pujanovsky, I don't think anybody's done that. Mm-hmm. Um, someone who probably knows I'm wrong and is calling me an asshole right now. But hashtag mm-hmm. Fittler. Hashtag Fittler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wrong about everything. Uh, so uh, Brian Shaw wants his fifth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Z mm-hmm. is coming back from injury and wants yeah. his fifth. Um, a Big Eddie Z will Hall. be there this year? Yep. Okay. Eddie, okay. Big okay. Z's there, hmm. and hopefully he'll compete. Eddie Hall is... Willing to die is for this. literally <laughs> willing to die for this this win. It's uh. like everything he's been doing his entire life comes to this one moment. Awesome. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> and he is probably the strongest human being mm-hmm. of all time in terms of... Uh, uh, like strength to weight ratio, strength. Or, yeah, oh, strength, strength, yeah, just static strength, just pressing strength stuff, to weight ratio. Stuff lots going about just throwing shit out there. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the uh, yeah, I guess watching that four hundred pound overhead press or whatever he did, the actual press was four hundred seventy six pounds. Sorry, you understand press. what I'm saying? You were nearly I'm you're sorry, three quarters all, I, of a unit. I was almost short. one full <laughs> unit off. You're three quarters of a unit short. Well, I know. I now have lifetime goals to be back within two units of yes. in my overhead press. Yes, that's that's a that's a. That 
would be so fucking I'm impressive. Like, Can you yes. imagine Cliff pressing 276 pounds? That would be a lot. That would be a whole nuts. lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I have that. Yeah, that's a half unit over my. I'd, ha- I'd have to do that at my next massing phase, which unfortunately is not going to be for a while. <laughs> because right now, my goal during the quickening. Right now, right now <laughs> when the blood moon rises. Uh, because segue, folks, segue. Uh, I am on a cutting phase, yes. and what is helping me tremendously yes. with my cutting right now, mm. the lovely folks at Blonix. Yes, Blonix supplements, S- Blonix sponsored right. content, have sent me a uh, jar of nice their. Segue. HMB slash creatine powder. Uh. And HMB, in case you guys don't know. What is that? What is that? It's a thingy that is a... Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. uh, you were on such a roll. You were on such a roll. Buy it. It's a thingy. <laughs> it's, yeah. a thingy. It's, it's a no. thingy. <laughs> it's a thingy. <laughs> it is a... It is <laughs> apparently... <laughs> everyone, knows what BC, everyone knows what BCAAs are, right? Branched chain amino acids. Like uh-huh. leucine and such. Well, right. leucine, when you mm-hmm. take it, turns into HMB somehow. Ooh. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. And so the idea here, at least for my cutting, is that I'll be using this in the same way that I'm using, uh, that would be using uh, BCAAs in order to not lose muscle mass as I'm eating 2,000 calories a day, which for me is no food at all. And I'm hungry all the time and will be for the next uh, four weeks straight. That nice. sucks. So hopefully. He's very cranky now. I know. I'm. Continuously cranking. <laughs> <top of everything. laughs> uh, Keeps me on the edge where I gotta be. <laughs> you're gonna watch Twin Peaks and you're gonna fucking like it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Let's bring the Twin Peaks conversation to the table. That, oh, okay, that, hold that on. That we so close we, to we home continue for talking about Blonix right now oh, because. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to hear uh-huh. the end of this resounding. Well, yeah, no, the, the, the end of it is because the last cut I did, I lost a lot of strength uh, at the end of it, even though I lost uh, pretty close to 30 pounds. So I'm going to see at the end of this cutting phase if I'm still kind of in the ballpark of how strong I am now, which will be a good indicator that my muscle mass is more or less intact. So I'll be sub 300 with muscles that are just as big. That's what Blonix will help me do. Three units. You know, mm-hmm. below Kyle, three units for the first time in years. Kyle is also I didn't I did not get any Blonix myself. Yes. Yeah, just to bring everyone up to speed, yes, the good folks over at Blonix, a supplement company, decided to just send us jars of things that we're putting into our bodies. Which by the way, yes. I just wanna I wanna pause yes. this right now, I wanna address Anybody who's part of a supplement company, send us things. Or really, actually, any send company at all. Things mm-hmm. you can mail whatever you want, <laughs> Cliff and Kyle to try. <laughs> we will take it. Yeah, you can mail it to two nine two two East Caesar Chavez Street, Austin, <clears throat> Texas. Courtesy of Armin. Yes. That's it. And just direct message Armin <laughs> on Instagram. Whatever you want to give us, we will take it. A- 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 Cliff will there. literally yeah. try anything. There are no Is limits it? to what I'm willing to put inside me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, uh, but uh, what... Um, yeah, but to Blonix, uh, we, we literally just randomly divided. They sent us two jars. Cliff got the HB, and I got a jar of beta alanine. <laughs> and so <laughs> I thought, beta alanine, this is that stuff that makes you all tingly. Um, but, you know, what possible? And as it turns out, doing some, a little bit of reading into it, 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 it does apparently help mitigate, like, the lactic acid burn in muscles and everything science, like that. Science, science, science. Science, science, science. <laughs> So uh, I want the tingles. But here's the best. But here's the thing. I've only ever taken beta alanine as part of a pre workout routine immediately prior to working out. So I've been used to feeling the tingles, but like while I'm standing in the gym and doing stuff. But their recommendation is to take it twice a day. So you take it once in the morning and once in the evening every day, which results in some interesting recontextualization for the tingly feelings one normally associates with pre workout. Namely, um,. <laughs> Taking a scoop, I think Friday after I got home from work, and then I was going to meet some friends for dinner, so took a scoop, and it was part of my evening post-workout supplements, or took a scoop, and then I went directly into the shower. <laughs> and taking a hot shower while your skin's tingling from beta alanine is an interesting experience. It's kind of like being bathed in fire. But, uh, <laughs> you yes, came exactly. out like Khaleesi. Yes, yeah, so it's like, just like Johnny Storm, I was the human torch. But, and here's the thing, uh, and as, as much as I hate to admit it, I honestly have, <laughs> I honestly have had uh, way, uh, noticeably better workouts since starting it. And so it's the thing where I'm gonna probably just keep doing it forever now, like like all of my my supplement routines. And once I find I will out they say start working, it wasn't it wasn't randomly yeah. assigned. Yeah, yeah, they they reached out to me, mm. 
and I describe to them your situations, like yes. what you guys are each trying to do. Each one of them, how we each have like 30 pounds of adipose right. body tissue. <laughs> 30. That's it. <laughs> Only 30. I think if uh, I lost 30 pounds, I would almost be down to a size 36 and waist so, again. <laughs> and, and You'd they be almost down to dad bod. The, yeah, almost down to dad bod. The, uh, the good folks at Blonix mm. are the ones who suggested there that you, you get the beta alanine and he gets the HMB. That was a good choice. Yep, that it's is true. It's worked. It's worked. Good choice, Blonix. Because I'm trying to lose weight and I'm not trying to perform well at all. Yeah, so the beta <laughs> alanine would have been wasted. <laughs> but that is but, but that is the thing. It's like lately I've been I have been so not fit that every workout involves just hitting a wall of just feeling sickness and just feeling gross and just feeling whatever. And then I just had a series of good workout days in a row, and it took a long time before I eventually caught on to maybe it's this thing that I've been taking every single day that might have actually contributed to it. Because I'm used to taking things, not feeling <coughs> anything, right. but then continuing to take them for years right. for no reason. But, but now I have a reason to keep taking Absolutely, it. but most importantly, though, while you have this powdered uh, beta alanine that is flavorless, mm -hmm. it is an excellent way yes. to harmlessly prank someone. Yes, this is true. By putting in their drink a <laughs> Very large amount of beta alanine. Oh, I just got a great idea. So, like, that's the best part is that the, be the, the beta alanine is, in fact, this is what's great. It is flavorless. So when you, when I mix it up in water, that's I just take the rest of my pills like with just drinking it, and I can't even taste it. So here's the great plan: you put it in someone's drink, like two or three, maybe five scoops. Let's go with five <laughs> scoops. Sure, sure. Nice round right, number. Five, nice round. Even yes. five. Five scoops of beta alanine, and then you wait a few minutes, and the moment you start to see them getting slightly uncomfortable, you have organized that everyone else in the room starts going, no, everyone else in the room starts going, my skin feels itchy. <laughs> is anyone else feeling that? Is anyone else feeling that the skin is itchy? And then they'll start feeling it as well, and they'll think it's some sort of phenomenon that's going on, and everyone else will start panicking. Then other people need to start pantomiming, passing out and falling out as if everyone in the room has been gassed with methane. And then people start throwing up. And well, people, people just start need to start, around. start faking that there's some extraordinary pain somehow in the, uh, yes, in the, yes, in yes. the guts or intestines it there. It starts with over. the tingly skin, and then they start pantomiming gut pain and huh. all sorts of other things, and then the person, oh the my person God, I think my testicles are sucking back up into my body. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yes. 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 I need that audio. I need that audio as is for the rest of my life. Is that, is that your new ringtone? That's going to be a fucking text message notification forever. Oh my God. That's so good. That is so fucking good. Holy uh, shit. Well, actually, you uh, know what we should do? We should make that available for every scale as needed yeah. listener. That's right. I will push that out as its own podcast episode. That that two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you can download it off of iTunes and do do as you wish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know that's uh, that's a very simple prank. I think that yeah, would be very easy to. Mm, that would be good and to uh, execute. You know, it would it would scare someone. I imagine it would be a lot easier to just overdose them with beta alanine and then have everyone come over and just pat them on the back. Very yeah. gently. <laughs> But then, you know. <laughs> They're yeah. like, ah, oh, why is my back on fire? <laughs> and just get one of those, like, head scratching, oh, massaging yes. thingies uh -huh. and just, you know, give them a little of that. Or. Or, or y you know, or you treat someone to a spa day, so it's, they're going to go and have a massage, <laughs> oh, and then right shit. before you dose them with like three shots <laughs> oh, of beta God. alanine, right before, so they go in to enjoy this nice massage, and their skin is just crawling while someone's putting their hands yeah. all over them. You know, I did so I didn't get any of no. the blonics, and that's okay. I don't have to get everything that gets sent over here. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. There were team. You I'll just get lots of shoes. I just get <laughs> so many shoes. shoes. I have so two pairs of shoes. I have two pairs of weightlifting yeah. shoes that I haven't opened that are still under my yeah. desk. And another two pairs that should be here in the next couple of weeks. So mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do. I only have two feet. Yes. <laughs> I only have, have two feet. I only have two feet. <laughs> so, I don't, so I don't know about what to do. Clearly, the, the, only way to compare, uh, <laughs> the only way to compare apples to apples, two different uh, kinds of shoes, to wear one different shoe on That's each That's true. That's a good yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, make sure the heel drop is the but same. I also, mm -hmm. I did get or don't. some Beat Elite. Beat Elite, yes. Yeah. Which has been... Fantastic. Is it, I have it also been taking beta leads from the lovely folks at Human N. Is that how it's pronounced? No human, human, I have no idea. Human no idea. I have been beating my meat. <laughs> and it is fantastic. <laughs> Equally fantastic. <laughs> Equally fantastic. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been... So apparently, 
This is like uh, Hunter McIntyre mm-hmm. turned me on to this stuff, mm-hmm. and he takes it uh, constantly, and he says it helps his endurance stuff. And I was like, hey, I know a guy who's trying to train for an endurance thing. What's his name? His name is Armin <laughs> Fittler. <not> Fittler. Fittler. <laughs> <laughs> Armin Fittler. Fittler. Hashtag Fittler. Fuck. This is not Armin Fittler. Hammer anymore. Uh, oh. So, yeah, so uh, he was nice enough to put us in touch with them and they sent over a bunch of stuff and mm. uh, I've been taking it before all our in- my endurance workouts yeah. and it feels really nice. Interesting. Sometimes it is, I don't know, um, it's supposed to, I guess, increase your like oxygenated blood count mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. Blood Science. doping, I get it. Right, yeah, yeah. it's supposed mm-hmm. to be like EPO. So, and it's, it's supposed beat. to stimulate. Oh, Chase knows. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to like promote nitric oxide within the body. So if you've ever taken like NO Explode, it's kind of that same idea, but mm. it's more prolonged. So you're not like trying to get a pump. You're trying to get all that oxygen flushed through your mm. lungs. I am getting a pump, though. I have noticed that. I've been taking this for the last several workouts. And uh, something noteworthy is, yeah, the, uh, the, the I'm mostly going for the pump in the gym now these days. But the pump usually is just there for the first few exercises, but then disappears over the course of a two-hour workout session. Yeah. But I've noticed, uh, taking note of the fact that over the co- of course of the uh, last week and a half or so where I've been taking this Beat Elite, I still have a pump, tremendous pump, the last exercises I do at the very end of the workout. Mm. So I can only attribute that to either the beat elite or, an or the cocaine that I'm also taking. <laughs> <laughs> the cocaine I'm mainlining. Uh, yeah, one know, of those two things. I, I have been taking it before every one of my endurance mm-hmm. workouts, mm-hmm. and uh, it sometimes feels like I'm breathing <laughs> through like a like a ten inch tube, just mm. oxygen, like <gasps> like right into my yes. just, 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 just now so you can suck parts. in all. Yo, the parts. Parts. <laughs> I can suck in now we, that I've, I've taken <laughs> so, all this beatily. It's when, incredible. When uh, we dropped in for for seventeen four with Travis Williams, he he was the first guy that I heard that was taking beat elite. Yeah, and he was just like, I asked him what it was about. He's like, man, it's like. I can breathe forever. <laughs> he was just, yeah. I, was I, might like, to, I might have to get me some of that. It's, it's been really good. Yeah. And uh, I, I still have plenty to work through. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it's, it's definitely something mm-hmm. that I've noticed. Uh, for me, at least, it's mm-hmm. been useful because of all this yeah, yeah. You know, shenanigans I've been doing with long, slow it's, distance stuff. It's sad that I realize that the barrier for me taking a thing and making it part of my daily habit to take it um, and thinking that that's important is just one person one time saying, you should take this. And then I'll just take that forever as a result. So now I take – So Cliff saw my, my, my cabinet full of pills yesterday. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and I just take – and the thing is I realize this doesn't apply to anything else in my life. If someone says like – um, you know, here, you, like, this This will make your skin better. Put on this face cream. I'm like, I'm not going to go through that. That sounds like too much trouble. If someone says any, though, yes, there's, there's, there's some daily pills there. Um, if it, there's almost not, I'm very, very lazy, and yet somehow the process of taking pills out of jars, putting it into my, my pill ramekin, <laughs> my, pan, my, pan, my panikin, and then and then taking them. I I, I I enjoy the process so much that I just mm-hmm. need people to suggest more things so I can take more pills, and that's why we're looking at you, supplement developers. <laughs> Send me things, and I will take them. Yeah, so, I don't know why that is. No, I, I feel like that's a lot of people though, because I feel like just from this podcast alone, I am now taking many, many, many more things than I was say a year ago. It's like, oh, I'm, I mean, these people say it's good; it mm-hmm. should be good for me. I'll We've go been giving buy those him lots things. of bad advice. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, he's taking all sorts <laughs> of trash supplements. I haven't had an erection in a year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he takes four shots of Full Metal Jack every morning. Every morning. It's, uh, it's all that grinded down pine cone that we told him to take. <laughs> <laughs> just mix it into a smoothie. Uh, yeah. yeah. So um, again, any supplements that you want them to try, <laughs> Chip and Kyle are interested in trying them. And all. certainly yeah. in Kyle's case, she'll probably be earning a customer for life because as soon true. as he it's takes true. them the one time, he's going to take it for the rest it of his life. It only takes one time to get them hooked. You got to get them while you're young. Um, I mean, and look at I, this. Yes, that's, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but is all of that? Yeah, can, can we get can we get like can, a so some if, of it's for those tough. Of you who aren't watching right now, yeah. um, uh, this is a, a picture off of Kyle's. Instagram that looks like something so, maybe like 30 pills. So working counterclockwise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> up top, that white pill up top, we got niogen. We have on it minerals. We have some. Uh, it's either going to be alpha brain or some other uh, another on it supplement. We have uh, some turmeric there. About we half have of these pills fi- are anonymous, like. And like uh, yeah. like clear plastic pills <laughs> yes. with just some sort of tan powder some in it. Some sort of powder in it. Uh, we have turmeric, fish oil, krill oil, uh, niogen, taro still bean, uh, spirulina, um, <laughs> Tylenol. <laughs> That's the best one. Tylenol. <laughs> well, that's the only one you can read. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of shit in there. Bunch and of shit. so here's the thing. You too, uh-huh. if you were to take this uh, this cocktail mm-hmm. of pills can look like this. Yes. <laughs> you too can look like an alcoholic roadie. <laughs> you, uh, you too can look like a guy who works in a gun shop. You too can look like a um, outdoorsman but lacking in any physical efficacy to chop down things. You too can look like someone <laughs> your mom as a child told you don't, don't be like that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, do you see that? Uh, don't do tell that. Your children. Not not phone, phone call. Phone call. <laughs> Kyle's going to oh, step no. out for a second oh, to no. answer a phone call about a flat we'll tire that he had. Uh, so it, we're going to take this opportunity to transition to Twin Peaks. Oh, yeah, oh, we can do that. Because Kyle has been out of Twin Peaks for a while And here. I'm sure he's going <laughs> to come back with... Uh, with some, some lovely tire advice. Right. Some <laughs> lovely some lovely advice on tire. Are you telling me that we're getting close to wrapping up here? Is that what Kai's telling me? Let's just set it up. Let's just No, man, we're going. Okay, no, no, no. We're going. So Let, we're let's going. just set we're up. Going. Okay. It's let's set happen. up for folks that uh, Twin Peaks the third season after a 25 year absence is uh, resuming this Sunday on Showtime. And in preparation for that, I've watched all of Twin Peaks uh, (laughs) over the course of the last uh, three weeks or so, and I'm trying to force these two assholes, dragging, kicking, and streaming, to uh, watch as many episodes as they can uh, right prior... We have, we have. uh, Right prior to the new season starting, because Twin Peaks Season 3 is going to be the new Westworld, only it has a (laughs) chance of being good. Unlike Westworld. Mm-hmm. Unlike Westworld. Like Westworld had a chance of being good. It did have a chance. And then yeah. three or four episodes in, we I just realized mean, unlike that it squandered in, yeah. that chance. I, I mean, unlike in reality, it, how it didn't turn out. Someone mm. was actually pointing out some interesting things. Let's talk about Westworld, guys. Um, <laughs> someone recently revisited, uh, why am I saying someone? My girlfriend recently revisited um, the uh, first episode of Westworld. Some and she was saying some woman. interesting things about how, if you go back to the first episode, it kind of clues you in to how later events might be um, out of sequ- sequence with, I'll have to check this up, but she says that like, and I don't remember this, there's a sequence where like Ed, you see Ed Harris killing or s- Maeve or something and that's thereby meaning that Ed Harris even has to exist in a timeline that's separate and or before the Maeve escaping uh, honestly, timeline. You, need, you need to actually about- articulate <laughs> something that's <laughs> like, specific not, in yeah, order for yeah, us yeah. to comment on right. it here. Yep. You're just saying so you names have- and timeline. So what times. I'm saying is that you all remember Rose, the uh, pro- third prostitute from the left on episode number three. Well, if you look, she's wearing a brooch. <laughs> now that brooch has a jewel at its center. That jewel is emerald. Now, in episode four, someone references is the Wizard I of Oz. What's in the Wizard of Oz? A golden this. road <laughs> that goes to the Emerald City. Now, the Emerald City, if you look at the uh, novel for the novel, the, the novel, course, not the film. Yeah, seminal <laughs> album by the Scissor Sisters. Seminal. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, do not fucking start us off on this again, please. <laughs> Don't do it. So, uh, you know, I'm not all the way through Twin Peaks uh-huh. yet. Tonight, we're actually going to go watch Firewalk with me. Oh, yes, but the Am Twin I Peaks pre- that correctly? I don't understand. Yeah. Is it Firewalk Fire. with me? Firewalk with me? Firewalk with me? It's Fire Walk with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, you choose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. Fire Walk, walk with, me. with me. I think that's actually closer to accurate there. Yeah. Yes, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So either way, yeah. we're going to go watch Fire Walk with me tonight. I need at, at the theater at the Alamo yeah, yeah. I have yeah. one episode left to finish that that Cliff is telling me will will finally kind of resolve 
what is going on with it the is a doozy. Of eh, Laura Palmer. Sure, although uh, you're not going to get a chance to see that before oh, the movie tonight. Oh, you will. Oh, it is, you have, have time. To, I'm going to go to my desk and pretend to work while watching <laughs> that episode right now. That is an excellent idea. Yeah. That is the best possible use of your time, and I'm not fucking around. That yeah. is the best I, use I of your time. I need to watch it before that, that we watch that movie. So, I think so. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I don't understand about it, yeah. and um, you know, I don't get. I don't get it. I'm not yeah. sold on Twin Peaks yet, yes. and I feel like you guys are the right people to try and sell me on Twin Peaks. As well, someone Kyle who has not seen any of us there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can't sell you. So, yeah. I would say, I would I say, that that I, hmm. I would say the main. Uh, this is what I was trying to. I was contemplating this while I was working out at the gym because I don't listen to music at the gym. What I think about is Armin's perception of Twin Peaks at the gym. That's yes. that's how I <laughs> occupy my mind. He came home talking about this. Yes, yes. Uh, is I think that Armin is unfortunately and is not meant as an insult, but only kind of is too much of a normie to weird cinema. <laughs> too much of a normie uh, to weird cinema. Yeah, yeah, that's just true. just because just because his main reaction so a far noob, if you will. Yes, yes. His main reaction to Twin Peaks so far, and the similar reaction to the lobster when seeing it is yeah. it's just so weird. God, which sucks so hard. Which, on by the way, which by the way is true. It's fucking it's true. true. But, but it's not a very in-depth analysis. I know, the lobster I know, but, was really the, fucking the weird. Take, really weird man. Take, take an analogy. If, to say that the lobster and Twin Peaks, their defining characteristics, they're just weird, is similar to saying that uh, the lobster and Twin Peaks, they're in color. There's like this color as against black. I don't get this color thing. This red and yellow, and like uh, sometimes it's black. There are black and white things in it, but it's it's color. It's a lot like using a, a metaphor that makes no sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, the fact that they're weird is definitely an attribute yeah. of them, but their weirdness isn't for the sake of weirdness. It's mm. like the lobster was meant to be a bizarre satire on the modern culture's pre different opinions on the importance of love in mm -hmm. society. You know, it was all towards the service of that weird theme, all of its extreme cinematic devices. Twin Peaks is also weird, but it's weird in order to convey the basic truths of human nature and the way in which evil is inside all of us and we yearn for the good. And to ju yeah, actually, I don't know if that's a good summation of it, but that's, <laughs> that's what I'm taking away from it right but now. it's a good closing note. No, I'm with Cliff on all yeah. of mm -hmm. these things. Yeah. But yeah, when you certainly are, uh, I've certainly been exposed to a fair amount of weird crap in my time. <laughs> <laughs> and as a result, I am, the pr the pump was primed for, for me to enjoy mm -hmm. Lobster. Did you know that Donald, Donald Trump, Trump invented <laughs> That phrase, priming the pump. Oh God! It's Did like you know this, that? yes, I know. I I, I read that. That, that was fascinating. That is, at uh, I think it. What has been exposed recently is that he really is. He really is just um, uh, uh, an unhinged person at this point. Like someone from words just fall out into microphones that that are broadcast yep. internationally with. The same lack of accountability for even considering whether or not the things are factually accurate that, say, like your rambling grandfather might, you know, while he's mm -hmm. in a car talking at you. And so it's like, oh, yeah, prime in the pump. I invented that. It's like there's just like the fact that there wasn't even a consideration for the fact that like that's a fact that can be looked up that he just and that I don't know. It's just it's, it's baffling at this point. Anyway, he'll be impeached soon. So that'll be good. So, <laughs> heard it here first. And like with the scale, the official scales needed prediction soon. <laughs> soon. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I think now is a good time as any to just go ahead and wrap this up. Reviews. Yes, oh. it is reviews time. <laughs> Damn it, we got more reviews. <laughs> Ooh, getting so oh. much closer. So much closer to the nose tour. Oh, no, no, I will say, yes. I am disappointed. Yeah. Why like, is that? I, Why we need more reviews, guys. No, no. We do need. Do we only get one? Oh, is that or two is that or two? True? Is it only one? Okay, my only, only one. one. It looks huh. like there's just a Scale one. Scale yeah. Thank God. Scale is nation. Oh no, you are really letting me down. Here. Uh, we have a small but disloyal fan base. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> See, I, I don't think they realize the amount of pre-production work I have already put into the Torque Mile. <laughs> yeah. This will be an extravaganza, my friends. We have spent friends. money that we cannot get back. <laughs> They they gave me a company credit card. It was a bad idea. It was a really bad idea on their part. Uh, let's see. So wait, the, the, the company credit card is paying for your nose torque for us, but not for Armin Chase to drive to the regionals. No, no. The one day. Yes. And okay. and I really really hope that no one at this company actually listens to this podcast mm. because uh, they should not know that. You can count on it. No one count on it. No so one fine. does. Uh, let's see. The new review says five stars. Bra. 
Bruh by Sean one 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 one. Oh no, I'm actually just a one there. It's pronounced Sean eleven 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 eleven. Oh, I think he says just leaving you guys a five star rating since I want to see someone's nasal nasal cavity explode from the nose torque mile. Yes. Also, wants to know when you're going to have Eddie Ift as a guest speaker on this podcast so everyone on here can one up him on all stories and interrupt everyone talking. What are you talking about? What? Keep up the good work, <laughs> guys. It makes my downtime at work go by faster. All right. Now imagine how much better it would be if you're listening to this during your uptime at work. There yeah. you go. That's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. So thank you, Sean eleven eleven one 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 eleven. Tony Powell from Facebook says, "Don't forget the reviews from other countries." Oh, that's actually true. How how I figure this out. Yeah, I'm not 100 sure how to do that. Hold on one second. I actually was Instagram. Messaged, I believe, a an international review. <laughs> That's not how you leave reviews on iTunes. Yeah, I don't <laughs> you think don't you send Instagram them to Kyle. It was a reviews. screen grab. It was a screen oh, okay. grab. I think it was a screen grab of a of a thing. Clearly fake. How do you <laughs> <laughs> fake news? This is the podcast where you yep. listen to audio of people yep. trying to figure out how to yeah, use their uh, phones. Kyle there is old manning his phone. We're on a clock. How do you old, use this thing? I'm old manning so. How hard. do I prime <laughs> the pump on this phone? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Prime the shit. I invented the iPhone. Where is I the did. pump for my priming yes. here? No, I don't have it. Anyway, uh, international guy. <laughs> Let's uh, assume we have five negative stars. ten reviews. So, and because it's from further away, it's worth like ten reviews, That's right? True. So it, that brings us ten reviews closer to nose torque. Come on, scaleless nation. <laughs> we are only. 37 reviews, right? Yep, 30 yep. something reviews away from nose torque. We could knock that out this week. You don't know, you it. know that we can. Yeah, but they don't want to. Because oh, we sure don't do. want to. Nope. They sure. Nope. Do. Com. Anyway. Come on, Armin's mom and <laughs> our own mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, has, has your mother reviewed exactly. this podcast yet? No. Come on. No. Uh, Kyle. Yes. Oh. Your social media. Um, I am at Mr. Kyle Bogart on the best. God. Damn Instagram account on the internet. That's not factually. That accurate. is true. Yeah, that is actually true. That's All right. Yeah. Cliff oh yeah. Uh, I'm at Cliff Bogard on an Instagram account. That now has two posts Whoa. and has commented on like two other things. What at this was point. your second? Oh, your second post was Mark Bell. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My very sweaty picture with Mark Bell. Oh yeah. 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 If you haven't pick. checked out our episode with Mark Bell that we did last week, go ahead and do that because it was cool. A little yeah, bonus cool. app. It yes. was cool. And uh, Daniel? Uh, I am at a supersonic man on Twitter, Instagram, all the things. And flip on over to Flow Slam. Uh, and I think in five, ten minutes, we'll be, uh, we'll be live on that too. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about pro wrestling. And Chase, handsome guy? Yeah, I'm Chase504 on all the things. Mm-hmm. And this time next week, we're going to have Leif Angles, Strong Woman. You're going to be able to watch that. Oh, that's right. That's May 24th. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's, that's right. true. Yes. Next mm-hmm. week, next out. Wednesday, yeah. the Leif Angles documentary will be yes. out, and it is is very good. And uh, we should probably talk about the fact that I'm going to be in New York all next week. So. Yeah. <laughs> and we should probably. <laughs> Hold on. What? So maybe I won't be <laughs> here. Yeah, I don't think Kyle <laughs> oh, yeah. will be here. All right, I and, may uh, not be here next the week. The name of the pro wrestling podcast, Hot Tag. Shut up. We, we, need, more, <laughs> we need more <laughs> listeners. We need more you listeners. Just, you, just, you just crossed the line, Daniel. Way too much talk about it. It's also on iTunes. iTunes. You can find me at Armin Hoy. Uh-huh. on all the things and again Chase and I are going to be down at uh, San Antonio for South Regionals on Saturday so if mm-hmm. you see us uh, just uh, come up and say what's up I guess that'll be a lot of fun if you have and supplements for Cliff or Kyle yeah, if you, yeah. Have you can give them to me I, I will take we delivery will take them all <laughs> all the black market supplements <laughs> and arm and a handful of armful of supplements for us and Unlabeled, then, and then the when he yeah. picks yeah. them all up Kneel down and punch him right in the dick. <laughs> right for me. Uh, Just hand him several of these yeah. filled with various powders. You yes. can find the show on Flow Elite, but you know you can also find it more importantly on iTunes, where you, you sure can, can download it and leave us and nice leave words, five star reviews. But only us. if you're Americans. We don't care about <laughs> international <laughs> reviews. Don't see apparently, there's a lot. Instagram we'll message this us in the uh, the international reviews, and That's we'll, we right. will totally count them towards the total once I figure out how apps work. Yes, thank you very much, uh, everyone, for listening and good luck to all the regionals athletes this weekend shitting your spines out on event four yeah Later. Mm-hmm. quickly get hot tag